The purpose of this short video is to introduce the operative standards for cancer surgery and describe the rationale for their incorporation into the American College of Surgeons Commission on Cancer accreditation standards. The operative standards for cancer surgery manuals were designed to provide best practices for the technical conduct of major oncologic operations. Volume 1 was published in 2015 and provides technical standards for the conduct of breast, pancreas, colon, and lung operations. Volume 2 was published in 2018 and covers esophageal, stomach, rectum, thyroid, and melanoma operations. Volume 3, which is currently in development, provides standards for hepatobiliary, peritoneal, neuroendocrine, sarcoma, adrenal, and bladder tumors. Volume 4, also still in development, will provide standards for pediatric tumors. Each standard in the manual describes the technical conduct of one critical element of an oncologic operation. Each of these technical elements is described in such a way as to maximize the oncologic outcome. And each standard reported in the manual includes a recommendation regarding the conduct of this portion of the operation, as well as an analysis of the data used to generate that recommendation. A growing body of data indicate that adherence to operative standards as indicated in these manuals is associated with improved oncologic outcomes. In a study reported in the Journal of Surgical Oncology in 2019, Various subsets of breast cancer patients were stratified into groups based on whether or not their operations were conducted in a manner consistent with the standards as described in the manuals. These standards included a margin negative resection, proper number of lymph nodes examined, and proper use of adjuvant therapy. As demonstrated by these survival curves, in each subgroup evaluated, patients whose operations were adherent to described standards lived significantly longer than patients whose operations were not adherent to these standards. In a similar study of gastric cancer, patients whose operations were adherent to described standards, which for this analysis included R0 resection and at least 16 lymph nodes examined, lived significantly longer than patients whose operations did not adhere to these standards. Taken together, these data demonstrate that adherence to the operative standards described in the Operative Standards for Cancer Surgery Manuals may indeed lead to improved oncologic outcomes in the form of prolonged survival. Based on the clinical importance of these technical standards, Several have been included in the latest versions of the COC accreditation standards. The remainder of this video will focus on these newly added standards and the timeline for their implementation. The standards selected for inclusion in the 2020 and 2021 updates of the COC accreditation standards are shown here. These include two procedures from the breast disease site, sentinel lymph node biopsy and axillary dissection, one from the melanoma site, wide local excision, two from colon and rectum, colectomy, and mid-low rectal resection, and from the lung disease site, any lung resection. Importantly, the documentation sources of these standards will be different, with some coming from the pathology report and some from the operative report, with different timelines for implementation based on the documentation source. Whether documented via the operative report or pathology report, these standards will require synoptic reporting. The benefits of synoptic reporting include to improve accuracy and consistency of documentation, improve efficiency of documentation, improve efficiency of data abstraction and measurements of compliance, reduce variability of care, and most importantly, improve the quality of cancer care. We'll now discuss the timeline of implementation of these standards. We will first focus on standards 5.7 and 5.8 from rectal resection and lung resection. These standards will be reported on the pathology report and will be the first two standards to be implemented. Here you see the timeline for implementation for standards 5.7 and 5.8. As of 2021, centers should be measuring compliance within their own institution using synoptic pathology reports, assuring a compliance level of 70%. Starting in 2022, site visits will review 2021 pathology reports for 70% compliance. In 2023 and 2024, the expected measure of compliance will increase to 80%. Next, we will discuss standards 5.3 through 5.6, which will be documented via the Synoptic Operative Report and have a very different implementation timeline. This figure represents the implementation timeline of standards 5.3 through 5.6. As of 2021, sites should plan for implementation, educate and train their surgeons and registrars. In 2022, Sites will need to document their final plan for implementation. In 2023, documentation of final plans for compliance will be reviewed during the site review. However, no operative reports will be reviewed that year. Starting in 2024, site visits will review the 2023 operative reports for 70% compliance. 
And finally, in 2025, the requirement for compliance will increase to 80%. Once again, for standards 5.3 through 5.6, which will require synoptic operative reports, the first time that operative reports will be reviewed at a site review is 2024. As of 2021, all centers should be working on compliance with standards 5.7 and 5.8, which are documented through the CAP synoptic report. Centers should be finalizing a plan for implementation of standards 5.3 through 5.6, which will be documented through the Synoptic Operative Report. Recent survey results show that it may take anywhere from 3 to 15 months for sites to achieve compliance with these standards. Therefore, it is recommended that sites begin working on these standards to include Synoptic Operative Reports in the near future. Additional educational materials are in production. These will include detailed descriptions of each standard and additional details on Synoptic Operative Reports. These will be released in the coming months. Thank you for your time and attention.